Welcome back everybody. Today marks two months since I set myself the goal of reaching Guild Cap before Dawn Trail on a fresh character. So I figured it's about time I gave a recap of my progression so far, with a personal look back at which farms have stood out the most this month. My goal for the following month and finally give an update on my current guild status. I'll also show a few quick guild farms that I don't think will fit inside their own videos. So come along with me on a look back at my second month. I started the month off at the 6.5 MSQ and I had amassed 28 million gil. I knew the first thing I wanted to do was finish the MSQ. This would open up a lot more time to focus on farming gil. I spent the first half of the month focusing a lot of my time on the Mughal Tombstone event by mostly doing ocean fishing expeditions and doing gates at the Golden Saucer. I did so many of these that I was able to max level my fishing and I had enough MGP stocked up well before the Final Fantasy XV crossover was announced to be returning. Speaking of the crossover, I was stoked because I was able to get the Noctis Glamour set. His top is part of one of my favorite personal glams, so I was pretty stoked to see it coming back around. I think it looks even better on a female character. Now I only need to get the 2B set for the boots from the Shadowbringers Alliance raid and I'll be done. Okay, real quick. I want to show you a farm that is starting to make a comeback because of the new Xbox players. When I started two months ago, I was following the price of Dabnarian onions. They were roughly 80,000 each and seeds were roughly the same price, making them a waste of time to grow. But the price of onions have since skyrocketed to 150,000 gil and seeds are going for less than 100,000. If you have a house or even apartment, now is the time to hop onto this farm and start making some onions. All right, since I started this channel, I kept hearing how I should just bring a blue mage for this farm or a blue mage would be faster for that farm or blue mage vault runs are the only farm you need. So I finally got around to leveling it up. I was already aware of the vault farm, though I took a break back between 6.3 and 6.4. I longed on to do the MSQ and hardly anything else. So I wasn't as aware with all the jank you can do with a level 80 blue mage. They are much faster doing Shadowbringer fades and zoner skin maps. I still prefer Warriors, but that's because it's kind of brain dead and I can watch YouTube, but I'm pretty sure if I put more time in the blue, it would probably be just as easy. I've also broken down and bought a house, mainly because I was planning to make a video explaining how you get Thabnarian seeds, but it would take about two weeks to make and I'm not sure if anyone would be actually interested. Though if you'd still like a video covering this, let me know in the comments. Buying a house also got me away from all the chaos that is known as Lemza Lemenza. Just peace and quiet. Me and giant Namazoos in practically every direction. <sighs> so after buying a house, I decided I wanted to do the elaborate tribal quest to unlock them as my house vendors. That's when I discovered a nice quick 30,000 gil a day farm. Coining Way is selling grip gels for one carrot. Currently they are going for 10,000 gil each on my server and you get three carrots a day doing the tribal quest. You can also buy materia, but they cost three carrots for nines, nine carrots for tens. So the grip gels are the best value. Once I get my vendors, I will definitely continue doing these daily. I've also started leveling my other crafting jobs doing the tribal quests. I'm not in a rush to finish. I'm just fine getting a few levels a day per tribe. If I need to level quicker, I'll worry about that when the time comes. For now, it's just a relaxed pace. Speaking of relaxed paces, that's also how I'm leveling my island sanctuary. I just copy pasta the daily list from Discord. If I can't get the required meds, I put in a generic list. I've already reached level 11 and begun buying paints and materia to sell on the market board. My top sellers are the blue command materia and ruby red dye. About a week ago, I remembered a farm that I had forgotten about ever since I watched a YouTube video on the subject about a year ago. It's a simple farm that is newer player friendly making magic tech repair materials. I figured there are videos already out there on the subject and it's common knowledge. Granted, no one had made a video about it for a little while, but it shouldn't be a closely guarded secret. Though after the video came out, I received a few angry comments expressing that I would destroy the market and I was exploiting YouTube. Making people angry was never my intent. The only reason I'm actually mentioning this is because I have a tip for newer players. If you are watching a gill making video and you see in the comments people are upset that the video was made because they'll have more competition, this is a great sign that the farm works and you should try and utilize a farm. If the farm is run into the ground, wait a couple months and the market will probably correct itself. Just remember a smart gill farmer doesn't put all their investments into one farm. 
you want to spread out to multiple farms in case one gets oversaturated. I myself have nine farms currently running on this account. This way, if one farm fails, I'm still making yell. Speaking of making yell, I guess it's about time I announce how much gill I currently have. So after two months, I have just over 100 million gill. I'm 10% towards my goal, and I have roughly four to five months to complete it. It's a tall order, but I still think I have a chance to complete it in time. This month, my plan is to finish Eureka and Baja because there are some really good farms in those areas that I'm currently not utilizing. I'm also looking to do a deeper dive into deep dungeons. I've never farmed past Palace of the Dead, and I'm curious if there are nice farms to be had in the other two. I also plan to find other gale farms I can share with all of you. Lastly, I want to thank everyone who has taken the time to watch my videos. I never expected anyone to actually watch these videos, let alone like or subscribe. It has truly meant more to me than you'll ever know. I'm going to continue making more videos and I hope you'll come join me. Let me know if you have anything you'd like to see covered. I'll see what I can do. If you'd like more information about the farm that upsets so many people, click the box on the left. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.